Hey everyone, it's Argonath here. Welcome to another video. And in this video, we're going to look at some shocking revelations about the uh, armor on the set of Rust, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, um, where the tragedy of the accidental shooting happened. Um, so let's have a look at some of these uh, revelations just to get a picture of who this head armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, actually is. So, rookie armorer on Baldwin's Rust set tied to a friend's fatal crash. So an insurance company for the rookie Rust Armourer in, in charge of weapons when Alec Baldwin accidentally shot dead his cinematographer reportedly paid her close friend family $50,000 last year so she couldn't be sued after he was killed in a drunken motorcycle crash. Now she wasn't directly involved in the crash but um, she did have, she should share some responsibility for it. Gutierrez Reed's friend Tyler Dyer wrecked his motorcycle in Arizona after attending a party with her and her boyfriend Aaron Butcher in August last year. The 24-year-old former model allegedly told police she saw Dyer and Butcher drink four to five beers each at the party, but still gave her boyfriend, who was already on probation for a DUI, so that's driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, the keys to her own motorcycle so the two men could leave. Gutierrez Reed's boyfriend was only supposed to be driving vehicles that had a breathalyzer attached, which her motorcycle didn't have, according to the outlet. So she shouldn't have given her boyfriend the keys to her motorcycle. Um, and if she didn't do that, probably the crash would never have happened. The men were riding alongside each other after leaving the party when Dyer lost control and crashed into a wall. According to authorities, Butcher, Butcher crashed after trying to avoid colliding with his friend. So that's a picture of Hannah Gutierrez Reed here. I don't know how recent that picture is. Um, Gutierrez Reed allegedly saw T Tyler Dyer and her boyfriend drink four to five beers each before they took off on their bikes, as we stated before. Cops said in a statement at the time that speed and alcohol appeared to be a, appeared to be blame for the crash. Dyer died days later after being airlifted to Las Vegas hospital while Butcher was treated as a local hospital and released. Gutierrez Reed's insurance company ended up paying Dyer's family $50,000 as part of the settlement that meant that she wouldn't face any litigation over the crash in the future. So she didn't pay it actually, it was her insurance company um, and she basically she basically got out of it without having to take any sort of responsibility for this and I think we're going to see a pattern of her not taking responsibility for anything and kind of just doing things that she looks like she wants to do. Now this is just on the face of it, I don't know exactly what she's like in her private life and stuff but from the face value of things that we can see that she's done this is kind of what it looks like to me. So I have to, we have to really ask ourselves was she actually a diversity hire for Rust in that she's, she came very cheap, she's a left-wing social justice warrior as from the looks and her appearance um, comes across as, um, and is it that because Hollywood is so left-wing you can't criticise anyone and so they don't face any consequences. So um, after that let's have a look at what happened when she was a head armourer on the set of another movie which was before Rust. So Rust armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed caused Nicolas Cage to storm off set for firing gun without warning. So that seems pretty um, dangerous, right? Firing a gun without warning anybody. The armorer who's working on the Rust film set sent Nicolas Cage storming off set due to unsafe gun practices in a previous movie. So that sounds pretty bad to me. The 24-year-old head armorer for the film set, which saw Alec Baldwin shoot Helena, Helena Hutchins dead, reportedly caused the furious Nicholas Cage to walk off the set for firing a gun without warning. In August, Gutierrez Reed was in charge of weapons on the set of Cage's The Old Way, when crew members repeatedly complained about Gutierrez Reed breaching basic gun safety protocols. So if um, crew members can spot basic gun safety protocols, then a head armorer should be able to definitely know what those actually are. Stu Bromborg, um, who worked as a key grip on the Old West set, told the outlet Goodyear's Red fired a gun without warning twice in three days, which led to Cage blowing up and walking off the set over her lack of care. Twice in three days! 
Even once is bad enough, but twice. Friggin' hell. Making an announce make an announcement, you just blew my effing eardrums out, Cage yelled before walking off the set. Brumbore also shared his concerns about Goodyear's Red Safety with the assistant director. I told the AD she needs to be let go, he recalled. After the second round, I was pissed off. We were moving too fast. She's a rookie. Now, this was the first time she was a head armourer, but it sounds like she hasn't had a lot of other experience just being part of an armoury team underneath working alongside another head armourer. So I think she was quite inexperienced. I mean, you have to get some experience somehow. So eventually, you know, you would, you would want to move up to a head armourer yourself. But I think she just hasn't had enough um, experience as just a normal armourer rather than being the head armourer. Um, so she needed to be still under supervision of people because she, she's been doing things which have been dangerous, um, causing dangerous situations on the set of things. But probably because she's a female, um, she's um, it looks like she's a just social justice warrior. I mean, just look at the colour of her hair, you know, all pink, nicely pink dyed. Uh, where is it? Uh, no, it's in this one here. So, yep, got the old pink hairstyle, blue, a uh, little bit of blue tinge in there. That's all social, social justice warrior people do that, right? I know it's a generalisation, but it pretty much holds up pretty well. So, she must be a social justice warrior. She's probably of the left variety. She's female. You These days in Hollywood, you can't criticise those people, right? So, if you can't criticise those people, they're going to carry on doing the stupid things that they do, and it's unfortunately cost someone their life. According to the rap, Brumborg and another crew member said the young armourer put the cast and crew in several unnecessary and dangerous situations. She should have been fired and she shouldn't have been allowed to be a head armourer on the set of another movie. Now it sounds like um, the Rust movie, which Alec Baldwin is a producer of, um, is a little bit kind of money constrained. They don't have a huge budget, so she probably came pretty cheap as well because she wasn't a very well... Um, experienced head armourer so that's probably another one of the reasons they put her on as well during the filming of the old way good here is read reportedly broke safety protocols by walking on set with live rounds of blanks without announcement to the cast and crew tucked pistols under her arms and carried rifles in each hand in a manner that saw them aimed at people that is just ridiculous i'm not an armourer but i know that that just sounds extremely stupid and someone with armoury skills would not ever do that, right? The Krieg group also said there were two occasions when she fired guns without warning as is required. In the first instance, Brungbor shared, said she fired the gun to see if the blast would startle the horses when the gun went off without warning. But of course you should let the people on the set know. <laughs> uh. Gutierrez Red had previously told the Voices of the West podcast she didn't feel ready to take on the job of head armourer for the old way which was just months before the tragedy on the Alec Baldwin set. So it wasn't a huge amount of time beforehand. It was also my very first time being head armour as well. You know, I was really nervous about it at first, and I almost didn't take the job because I wasn't sure if I was ready. But doing it like it went really smoothly, she told the podcast, the best part of my job is just showing people who are normally kind of freaked out about guns how safe they can be and how they're not really problematic unless you put them into the wrong hands. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, I think you have the wrong hands, Gutierrez Reed, <laughs> because you weren't safe with your guns. That is just gold that she said that. <laughs> um, despite rec the recollections of Rumborgs, a producer who worked on the old way told the rap they did not recall any safety discrepancies. Of course they wouldn't because they want to hush it all up, right? But unfortunately she's not going to be able to get away with it this time. Uh, well, I guess she could. I mean, her father's pretty well known in Hollywood. He was a head armourer himself. So I could just see that she would be let off um, somehow and not face any repercussions as well because um, Hollywood is just a den of um, iniquities. So let's go on to the actual uh, what's happened on the set of Rust. So Rust Armour Gutierrez Reed claims no live ammo is ever kept on the movie set. So this is an affidavit. This is a, a legal statement she made that live ammo is never, ever 
uh, kept on the movie's set. So no live ammo is ever kept on the movie's set. Well, let's have a read and see what the police found. Um, Armakutia's Red said she checked the dummies and confirmed they weren't hot rounds last Thursday when a shot from a prop gun being handled by actor Alec Baldwin struck and killed Hutchins, according to the search warrant affidavit released Wednesday by the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. So either she's lying or she's absolutely terrible at her job because she completely missed a live round in the gun. During the course of filming, Hannah advised she, ha Hannah advised she handed the gun to Alec Baldwin a couple of times and also handed it to assistant director Hayes David Halls. When asked by an investigator about live ammo on the set, Hannah responded, no live ammo is ever kept on the set. Um, Halls told officials he could only remember seeing three rounds when he checked the firearm according to Wednesday's affidavit. He advised he should have checked them all, but didn't and couldn't recall if Gutierrez Reed had spun the gun. So that's spinning the barrel of the gun. Uh, he told investigators the incident was not a deliberate act. Production for the Western film was taking place in New Mexico. The new affidavit was released shortly after Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office held a press conference during which Sheriff Alan Mendoza, Aidan Mendoza, said officials suspect there were multiple live rounds on the movie set that day. She is a liar. She lied in her affidavit if this is true. We suspect that there were other live rounds, but that's up to the testing. Right now we're going to determine how those got there, why they were there, because they should, shouldn't have been. You should never have any live ammunition um, on the set. Now, in another article which I read, which is just alleged, um, apparently people were passing the time doing target shooting with live ammo using those particular prop guns, which is absolutely um, disastrous. District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwees wouldn't rule out filing charges against anyone, including Bolden, and cautioned that she won't rush to judgment as the, as the investigation plays out. I really, really hope someone is held accountable. Obviously, it's not a murder or anything, but there's definitely um, cases for manslaughter because proper procedures weren't followed and it should never have happened. Uh, Sousa was also wounded in the shooting, which authorities say he was struck in the shoulder. Um, Mendoza said that was apparently the same round that hit Sousa and Hutchins, who was struck in the chest. So it went straight through the cinematographer, through her stomach, and then hit Sousa in the... Um, uh, in the shoulder. So there we go, we can see that this head armourer was not really experienced enough to be a head armourer. Uh, apparently she'd only done one other movie as a head armourer and we know that in that one, uh, the old way, she was doing unsafe practices, allegedly it's from the crew, but I think you know we, it looks like there's a pattern appearing here and I think this is going to come out. Um, she was not experienced enough she was a bit blasé about what she was doing. She's probably never had to be held accountable for anything in her life. We know she got out of um, a lawsuit against her for the death of that person that was with her boyfriend. So hopefully, um, I'm really hoping that someone gets held accountable. Either Baldwin, the producers, or her, or all of them actually. They all have some sort of cap culpability for that. Um, but we can see that some pretty shocking things to come out and again I just want to stress it really sounds like because she's very likely to be a diversity high she's female um, she's probably a social justice right she probably has left-leaning political background um, then it means that they, they probably hired her on those particular grounds and probably because she was cheap and also when she was not doing things properly people didn't hit back on her because you can't say that against people who are diverse, right? Because you'll be called a racist or a misogynist or um, uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Or homophobic or transphobic. You can't say those things against these people, but we have to call them out because otherwise uh, people can die as we've just seen in this particular one. You anyway, know, let me know what you think. Do you think uh, maybe Gutierrez Reed is a diversity hire or do you think she was hired on the merits of her experience and her career thus far? Uh, I'd love to hear your comments in the comments section. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And hopefully I will catch you in the next video.